Hi, my name is Todd Doyle and I'm here today to give you my Wuzu Chin testimony. Now what do I mean by that? Well, like my conversion to Christ when I was eight years old that changed my life, I had a similar conversion when I came to study Wuzu Chin. Let me start at the beginning. My sister Jamie was born handicapped, so at an early age I learned to fend for myself, so to speak. Most of my attention went to my sister while growing up, and so I took to comic books and Hardy Boy books and Saturday morning ninja movies. My favorite guy was Chuck Norris. I ate up his movies. But I wasn't the athletic type. I was skinny as a rail and could eat anything without gaining an ounce, not to mention I was clumsy and wore glasses, the thick Coke bottle kinds. I was blind as a bat. Needless to say, when I did try out for sports in school, I couldn't get anything right. One time I scored for the other team on the basketball court, I was that bad. So eventually I grew to hate athletics and athletes. By the time I reached high school, I was a football manager who bore the brunt of all the jokes. Yeah, I graduated hating athletes. So when I got to college, still a virgin in more than one way, I decided I needed to change my life. I didn't want to repeat a high school, so when my first roommate, a guy by the name of Chris Thomas, announced he was starting a kung fu class, I was interested. He had just gotten his black belt the summer before, and I started taking his class, and at first I wasn't sure if it was the right thing for me. You see, I grew up with a physically abusive father, and he was always hitting me, so I was learning to hit other people, and, and it felt wrong. And I almost quit until Chris told me I could use kung fu to become something better, someone better. But it wasn't until I met Master Graham a little while later that I became convinced this would be my new identity. It would be a new me, but I still hated athletes. As I made trips down to Mobile from the University of Mississippi, I came to know Master Graham a little better each trip, and he came to know me. He knew me as selfish, obnoxious, self-centered, egotistical, and loud. And he wasn't shy about pointing any of this out to me. This is where the second epiphany happened, but over a longer period of time. He wouldn't let up. Every single fault I had, he would point out immediately. But he did it in a way that didn't shame me. He did it with the way my father should have done it, but never did. He did it with a joke and a smile, with humility. So I began my second transformation into someone better. Did I do it right away? I wish, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, personal transformations from what you were into what you want to be is full of failures and mistakes. It takes gentle and not-so-gentle reminders and loving friends to help you get there. But get there you will, only if you persist. Am I still selfish? Yes, but I'm better than I was. Obnoxious? Yes, but I've toned it down a bit. I'm by no means perfect. This is the gift of having martial arts in my life. It has helped me through thick and thin. No matter what anyone else can say, they cannot take away my fourth-degree black belt. I've earned that. Having a mentor will be one of the most wonderful things you could ever do for yourself. Master Graham has been my mentor for over 25 years, and he is my best friend. He tells it like he sees it. He pulls no punches, but he does so in a way that a master should. At my first degree test, after three hours of grueling form, sparring, and conditioning, he walked up to me and said, How does it feel to be an athlete? Wow. Mind blown. I didn't realize it, but I had become the very thing that I'd hated, and I did it willingly. It was then I knew that the martial arts is something that should be promoted and encouraged. Patience, persistence, humility, attitude, thoughtfulness, integrity, confidence. These are the things that make showing up to class day after day worthwhile. These things make you into someone new, someone better. I'm beginning my own school now in Memphis, Tennessee, Five, five Ancestor Fist Kung Fu. I'd be honored if you would allow me to lead you on the same journey that I took over 25 years ago. It's time I give back what was given to me. Join me, will you?